Every time you pick up your phone to turn off your mind, you could do something with your life. Like potentially pick up a new hobby that could potentially lead to you meeting new interesting people that share the same interests as you do. So today I want to share a very subjective experience. But before that I want to ask you a question. How much time do you spend on your phone? Like look at it. Look at your screen time and how much time do you really spend on your phone? And most importantly, what of that time do you really remember? A study that was made by Peng Zha and Xiaoyu, which was probably pronounced right, that was published in the Environmental Journal of International Public Health and Safety, I think it was, shows that TikTok is mainly linked to things as memory loss, anxiety, depression and all the other things that our generation is suffering right now. In my subjective opinion, I think it's not just TikTok, but your phone in general. I like to call it the void rectangle because it sucks you into it and it fries your dopamine receptors to the point that you're not capable of doing anything that doesn't involve instant dopamine. Picking up a new hobby can be difficult and in the beginning it will most certainly involve failure. Mm. But not only do you always learn something new by trying, but the rush of happy emotions that comes through you when you lift your first heavy weight, you play your first correct note or you shoot your first analog picture and develop it. it, it's just beyond words. In my subjective opinion, I think every hobby should come with some things that make it worthwhile. Like every hobby, you should, with every hobby you should struggle a little bit in the beginning, but the outcome should always be worth the struggle you're going through. And I think here comes analog photography into play. It's a hobby I picked up maybe half a year ago and I don't want to overdo it, but it kind of changed my life a little bit. It gave me something to do. It made me see the world around me with new eyes. I saw beauty in places that before I didn't even bat an eye. And in my opinion, the very best thing about this is, it gave you something to remember. You capture the light of a moment and you seal it in chemicals. A practice so amazing it borders to magic in my opinion. Some time ago I got myself a Nikon DSLR, which is, I gotta say, a pretty nice camera. But after getting it, I used it for like a week and then it faded into obsolescence and I never even used it after that actually. I mean, the pictures I took with this camera, they were nice, but they felt artificial to me. And they will probably face the same fate as like 6,000 or more photos that I lost on some hard drive, never to be seen again. because. <laughs> they're not physical in this world. There's some ones and zeros on some storage device. Then on the flea market from some old army soldier I got my first real analog camera, my Canon T50, which to this day is very dear to my heart because I captured like I captured the summer of 22 with it and it's it was my first analog camera and it was just this camera was my foot into the door of analog photography. I mean it's not a real fully analog camera. It's a programmed camera, which means you just look through it, adjust until it's sharp, and then you just take the picture, and the sound of the camera is just... You heard that a picture was taken. With this camera, I got comfortable with film. It led me into it. It gave little room for error, which was really nice in the beginning. After getting comfortable with film as a medium to take pictures, I got a Minolta SRT 101 which until this day is just, it's my favorite camera, look at it, just look at it. I mean, when you hear the term analog camera, this is probably the camera that comes to your mind. I think these cameras play a lot into like our evolutionary 
preferences of haptics, like having something in your hand, like buttons and dials and springs and gears and it clicks. Nice. I also got myself a light meter, which is used to measure the light of your surrounding area. So you can put in these values into your camera and take the picture. And this just took me. The beauty of the process of taking a full analog picture is just incomprehensible. I mean, the light sensor the film gets hit by light rays and forms silver crystals on celluloid, which capture the moment. It's just fucking magic. After shooting my first rolls of film, I realized how long commercial development takes and costs. So I got myself a developing kit. And I think developing your own film at home just adds a whole nother beauty to the whole process. Because you add the fear of death. And with fear of death I mean one mistake and your film gets hit by the sword of light. And your memory is gone. One mistake during development and it's burned away by chemicals. It's just something is valuable when you can lose it. When you have something always, always on you. You never have to be afraid of losing it. Yeah, that's not how it works. But with this it's just all these pictures have meaning to me because I took them and I developed them. When something is guaranteed, that you always have it, that it's safe, there's no beauty in it. There's, it, it, it means nothing. But when you have something that you're afraid of losing, that you're trying to keep safe, then it's starting to mean something to you. And <laughs> I mean, it's just taking pictures, but that's what taking pictures with analog cameras is to me. I mean, it's a, it's a big process shooting the picture and developing it in the end just for a picture you could easily take with your phone but I think analog photography made me learn to love the process it's not always your instant dopamine rush sometimes you have to take your time and you can't always expect to be happy instantly sometimes you have to put some work into it and the moment I capture with these cameras feels really special to me they feel like chiseled in stone to stand the test of time, to be watched by everyone because they are burnt into celluloid. They are, they are not some data on some device. I think the best thing about analog photography is I had something to take pictures, so I had one more reason to leave my phone in my pocket and it just made me realize that inspiration is out there.